Now on BBC Three, in another manic episode, we meet the fields in Britain's supersized families. On this week's episode of Britain's Supersized Families, we meet the Fields. A family of ten, they live in a three-bedroom terrace in Hampshire. Each day is a challenge for Mum Jenny as she attempts to tackle the mountains of washing, cooking and shopping that goes into supersized family life. It's quite nice. It's, it's very different dolls. from having a small family. Yeah. You're like around lots more people and grow up with lots more people. And yeah. So you're used to <laughs> being around quite a few people. Life isn't always peachy when you have so many siblings. He's kind of a bit annoying though, uh, chatting because you don't get to speak quite a lot. Aside from the mountains of washing, cleaning and shopping the family struggle with, Mum Jenny also has to think hard about planning the week ahead, including the bi-weekly food shop. It was 150 a week, but it's so much more than that now. Approaching 300 a week in reality. I like stuff later. Mum! A family of this size has to take extra care of baby Bo. Down syndrome. Yeah. Um, which is no worries whatsoever, but she also has another condition which is life threatening. She spent the last two weeks in the hospital every day. But, um, she has some condition where her thyroid gland is overactive, mm. um, which means that her metabolism rate is just rockets up. She just eats perfectly. The other day, well, she would, but she's on medication to try and stop yeah. it. The other day, she ate seven croissants. To help out, Jenny and Michael enlist the help of the older children with the smaller responsibilities, like walking the dog. Lively, busy, always there, and we pull together. And there's always somebody that you can rely on. Yeah, now I guess we all help out a little bit, but I don't feel like it's an overwhelming responsibility. Having a big family affects me because I can't spend as much time with like my individual siblings as I'd like to, and also I don't spend much time with my parents, which I wish I did. We have to babysit for our, my mum and dad quite a lot, so I, I guess that means I don't go out with my friends as often. Wanting to be able to be super human, really, to give so much and can't give 100% yeah. to everybody all the time. So it's, it's, it's your own failings is the most challenging part of it, really. 